we finally got the justice that he deserved, so. Finally, tonight, relief for Sergeant Michael Chesna's family. The man accused of shooting him is found guilty of first-degree murder. They waited six years for this verdict. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. This was Emmanuel Lopes' second trial after the first ended in a hung jury. This time, the jury found him guilty of killing Chesna and 77-year-old Vera Adams. WBZ's Julie McDonald is live in Weymouth. And Julie, Lopes used an insanity defense. Clearly, the jury did not buy it. Well, it did take this jury six days to come to an agreement, a wait that the Chesna family said was just agonizing. But tonight, finally, some closure for this police department and finally a sense of peace for this family that still will never be the same. Guilty of murder in the first degree. <laughs> The family of Weymouth Police Sergeant Michael Chesna overcome by emotion in court Friday. Hearing a verdict they began to fear might not ever come. Months after his first trial ended in a mistrial, this jury found Emmanuel Lopes guilty of first and second degree murder in the 2018 killings of Chesna and Weymouth neighbor Vera Adams. It was the happiest day of my life except when I had Mike and Eric. Lopes' attorneys had long argued he should be found not guilty by reason of insanity. Back in 2018, Sergeant Chesna found Lopes throwing rocks at a home after he'd fled from a car crash. When Chesna confronted him, Lopes threw a large rock at his head, knocking him to the ground. He then stole Chesna's service weapon and shot him several times, before also shooting innocent bystander Vera Adams, who peeked out of her window. After enduring this second trial, the Chesnas described six days waiting for a deadlock jury as petrifying. I'm just so happy my kids don't have to have me taken away from them for another trial and that they can have me home what with are you them. Gonna say to them? I'm going to tell them that their father got the justice that they deserved. finally deserved, and Vera right. did too. Justice not only for Chesna's blood relatives, but his brothers and sisters on the job. It's been weighing on us for six years. At least we can put this part behind us, finally. And even after so much was taken from them, the Chesnas stay so grateful, so committed to doing good in their Michael's name. We never give up. You know, be positive, help people, do things for people. You know, that's what we're going to do. That's what my son did. You know, he loved helping people. So Lopes will be back in court to be sentenced on March 19th. Massachusetts' highest court, though, this year decided it's unconstitutional to sentence a person under 21 to life without the possibility of parole. Lopes was under 21 when these murders happened, which means under this new decision, he would be eligible at some point. Live in Weymouth, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.